Mele Muros, a community-based youth development art program, continued painting on the island of Oahu in the heart of Honolulu at Kaimuki High School. This is the first time Mele Muros has worked with a school under the Department of Education. And for Kaimuki, this is the first time they've done a project of this proportion. Be safe now. Our school is in transition right now. We're actually one of this larger movement in the United States about really looking at student learning and starting to develop an idea of competency-based education as opposed to grades A through F. And in competency-based education, it's more like, is the student ready? They will tell you they're ready by what they do. First in the Mele Miro's process is to go on a huaka'i, or learning journey, where the students found themselves upstream in Manoa. Kaha. Okay. Everybody say Kahawai. Okay, the Kahawai is the stream. When you connect Mauka to Makai, this Ahupua'a is still part of Manoa. And so to go as far back as we could um, at Kanewai was really important for the kids to feel that because the stream is coming right next to them. We're going to make Ho'okupu, so it's the offering that we give with the blessing. When Estria started, he wanted to share the stories of the land, wherever the mural is going to be. So the importance of going on the huaka'i is to find out the stories that the land wants to depict, and that's what we try and do through meditation. Hopefully, if we're successful, get them to get downloads, as we call it, from our kupuna, and guide them to what hopefully will come out on this wall, on this mural. The Department of Education's rigid structure sometimes sets limitations on what can be executed in the classroom. Meditation, wall blessings, and spray painting are quite abnormal on campus, and the project quickly found itself amid adversity. The struggle really has been to get everybody behind us on campus. Uh, my partner and I have been told, this is too big, you guys should have never taken it on. And we've been told in many cases that the kids are not going to function well in this environment. That's one of the reasons why we, we're really like, OK, and then we're going to make it bigger, make it louder. Now my classroom is going to change from my room to out here now. Kumo told us about the Mele I didn't know what a, what a Mele Mirror was until Esther then showed up. And then when he started talking about spray painting, painting, and drawing all these um, characters on the wall. I was kind of like, interested in doing it so I could like learn or do more. Carlo was one of these students that normally cuts class or cuts school. You know, they never see him. So for him to come to school every day because of the mural, and to me, he exemplifies what can happen, you know, when you, when you put that energy into the kids. Art is like my passion and I do this like often but on my own time and I just want to help out, help out the school and the community. The most fun part is coming together with my classmates because you know classmates they really don't talk to each other so it's basically kind of like an icebreaker for everybody to come together, have fun, do something we all like to do. Overall Kaimuki is a good school, it's just that we're not out there, our kids are not out there, we're not more into things, we just kind of laid back. So this is like an opportunity for us to be more out for, for other people to see what Kamuki is about. Mahalo for attending the first DOE Mele Mural Unveiling Ceremony. Everyone had to go above and beyond, outside of their job descriptions, and none of this would have been possible without all their help. So, yeah, go Bulldogs, coming together as one. I feel really, really satisfied with the whole results of it. It looks so beautiful, of all the hard work that hospitality students and also Estria Foundation and many people, I felt like this was a really great experience. I think this mural is good for this area because it helps lift the energy of the place. It clears some heva heva, you know. And I think it also makes a place that normally you just drive by and you don't notice it. It, it makes it a landmark and it makes it, you know, it, it brings light physically and spiritually to the place. 
for me and the students as well as for our school. I believe that our connection to Estria and Mele Murals has really refocused the attention of where we need to be taking our students. There shouldn't be me in the front anymore. There shouldn't be any of us in the front. They need to take over. And that's why I think Mele Murals has brought a greater gift than just a mural to us. It really taught my partner and I as teachers what the whole point was, is to make them in charge, make them caretakers, make them involved, and create an opportunity where they say that's mine.